root canal filling materials. In endodontics, we've got many filling materials. First of all is the core, which is mainly gutta percha. And the assisting material is the sealer, which seals areas that are sealers. They've got many functions. They cement the core to the canal wall. They fill and mark irregularities that cannot be filled by gutta percha. They act as a lubricant to ease the placement of the master cone to its full length. And they've got a certain bactericidal. An ideal sealer should have certain properties. First of all, it should have a good tackiness. This means when mixed, it should be creamy and thick. And when I remove my cement spatula, it should have this string of sealer. It should have a good hermetic seal. It should be radio opaque to see if it penetrates in certain irregularities, for example, lateral canals or extrusion periapically. It should have a good, very fine powder to get a very creamy mixture. No shrinkage on setting because I don't want after setting to get gaps between the sealer and the uh, root canal wall because this will might be in, uh, inhabited by microbes. I don't want staining the tooth after my endo treatment. The sealer has bacteriostatic effect, exhibits a slow set to give me time to finish up my obturation step with good timing. Insoluble in tissue fluid. Tissue tolerant, that means it is biocompatible. So, um, and soluble in common solvents so that I can remove the gut percha sealer comp Zinc oxide and eugenol sealers. This type of sealer is the most common and the oldest because it exhibits certain advantages. First of all, it is very slow setting, which is very important for us and especially for students to finish up the obturation and give it time. Shrinkage on setting, this is a disadvantage because once setting, it exhibits shrinkage. Solubility, especially when extruded outside the root canal. Now, this is an advantage once the, the sealer extrudes outside the root canal. But inside the root canal, this is a disadvantage because it will, in the, in the future, this will be uh, making spaces for the bacteria to harbor in it. Stain to structure. And it has antimicrobial activity. Types of zinc oxide eugenol sealers. First of all is the Rickert sealer. This sealer contains silver particles for radio opacity, but this silver particle, it makes staining. Procosol sealer here, it's the same as the Rickert sealer, but with no silver particles. Roth sealer, it's a modification of Rickert sealer and it is non-staining. Tubular seal, this is the first zinc oxide eugenol sealer that comes as uh, <clears throat> catalyst base zinc oxide eugenol sealer. It has a faster setting time when compared with the traditional 
liquid powder sealer. Medicated sealers, they may have dexamethasone or any anti-inflammatory uh, agent. This is important because we sometimes we may need to decrease the inflammation, inflammatory condition around in the periapical region. Therefore, this uh, seal type of sealer decreases inflammation in these areas. Calcium hydroxide sealers. They were developed for the for their antimicrobial activity and osteogenic cementogenesis potential. For example, Celepix, which is a catalyst-based system, Epixit and Epixit Plus. No genol sealers. These sealers, they don't rely on eugenol. Eugenol may have some kind of uh, irritation effect. Therefore, this type of sealer does not have eugenol. Asinomer sealers, these sealers were made or developed in root canal obturation because of their dentine bonding properties. For example, the Kitak Indo. The properties for this group is that it adheres between the material and the canal wall and enters the dentinal tubules. It is difficult to properly treat the dentinal wall in the apical region. Why? Because at this remote area, it is difficult to ensure a dry wall and moisture might still persist in this area. It has minimal antimicrobial activity. Sealers. This type of sealer was developed because it provides adhesion of the gutta percha to the root canal wall and it does not contain any eugenol. There are many types for this type of sealer. For example, AH26, it has slow setting epoxy resin, but it contains formaldehyde. AH plus is a modification for this sealer with no formaldehyde. Now, formaldehyde is carcinogenic and has a high cytotoxicity. Indores methacrylate resin with hydrophilic properties. Dikit, this is a, poly a polyvinyl resin sealer. Epiphany and real seal, these are used with the resilon. Silicon sealers, <clears throat> for example, Rico seal. This is a polyvinyl silox and it expands slightly on setting. Now, this is very important because we would not have any shrinkage while setting. We've got expansion, therefore, no gaps formed. Gutta flow and gutta flow 2. This is a cold flowable matrix. The last, the most important nowadays is the bioceramic sealer. Now, this sealer is composed of many fillers, for example, zirconium oxide, calcium silicates, calcium phosphates, monobasic, calcium hydroxide, and various filling and thickening agents. They've got certain properties. For example, they are hydrophilic sealers utilizing moisture in their setting reaction. It does not shrink on setting. 
it is totally biocompatible and it has a good antimicrobial effect.